by the end of this video you're gonna know how you can create your own dynamic eq using fo studio plugins only you no longer need the pro q3 or the f6 let us get into the video let me play the vocals we're gonna be working on first you say you're mine you say you say you're gonna give me time you say you say those are the vocals we're gonna be working on let me just delete this the first thing you're gonna need to do is to duplicate the main vocal just make it unique send it to a different mixer track uh the main vocal is here and we're gonna send these vocals here then you can just mute the duplicated vocal let me just rename this duplicate yeah then on the female vocal you're gonna load up the parametric eq on the lead vocal then on the duplicate vocal you're gonna load up the pick controller let us load that uh then we're gonna go to the main vocal and we're gonna start creating some bands i'm gonna uh, first start on the low end yeah let us create a dynamic eq on this band we're gonna just click to click to controller then uh just click the pick control pick this this one then go to the mapping formula go to inverted accept yeah let us check whether this thing is working you say you're mine you say yeah now we're gonna need to control it you will need to use the bass and volume tension and decay a little bit just move the bass up to 50 to a foot lock yeah that's where the band was then let us mess around with their volume and tension you say you're mine you say you say you're gonna give me time you say you say you rather die gonna need to mute the duplicate mute that you say so you cannot get uh two vocals playing at the same time just duplicate just just mute the duplicate you say you're mine you say you say you're gonna give me time you you can go back to the parametric eq and fine tune the band you say you're mine you say you say you're gonna give me time you say yeah i'm sure we're good let us create another band we're gonna go to the duplicated vocal and use another pick controller uh then on this one i just wanna use the this one just go to link controller then go to the last one pick control pick then mapping formula inverted accept you say then <coughs> we're gonna go to the duplicated vocal and fine tune this thing to our foot lock you say you're mine you say you let us fine tune this band you say you're mine you say you i just wanna aim for the asses you say you're mine you say you say you're gonna give me time you say you say you rather die you say you say you you say you're mine you say you say you're gonna give me time you say you say you rather die you say you say you and i and i yeah on the on the low end band you you can mess around with the decay yeah mess around with the decay until you get a a, a good dynamic eq band let me mess around with this decay you say you're mine you say uh you have to get uh a slowest i think slowest movement the slowest release on the on the low end yeah let us mess around with that you say you're mine 
That's perfect. Let us create another band. Gonna need to insert another P controller. Same thing. Let us use this one. Um, just link to controller. Internal controller. Pick control pick. Mapping formula inverted, then accept. Then we're gonna fine tune this thing. 12 foot lock, making sure it's around 50%. Then let us fine tune this band. We're gonna remove the boxy frequencies with this band. You say, you say, you gon' give me time. You say, you say, you rather die. You say, you say, you when you say you're mine. You say, you say, you gon' give me. That's how you can create your own dynamic EQ within Apple Studio using Apple Studio plugins only. I hope this video was helpful. Yeah, please like and subscribe. Mad Lofa will be grateful. I'm out.